Happy New Year! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Kristen and I would love for you to join the family and subscribe to my channel. So I put up some cute little lights up here, you know, just to make it a little bit more interesting because it's always like white background, you know, it's a little boring. So just decided to add a little bit of lights. So I hope you all had a wonderful New Year's. I'm sorry I posted a really random food video a couple days ago, but I didn't have the right setup and equipment and whatever and all that shit. I was at my sister's house in Sacramento and I am now back home in LA, so I am able to film again. So, I signed up for BoxyCharm uh, maybe like two months ago and they weren't able to send me one during November but they did send me one for December but it didn't deliver until December 27th and I did not get home until yesterday which was the 3rd and today is the 4th but it will be the 5th when I upload this so. So today I'm going to be unboxing this BoxyCharm box. Wow, that was a lot of boxes. It's about $21, $22 per month and you receive five to six full-sized items. And so I was very excited about that. Um, I was gonna sign up with Ipsy, but I heard that you only get like sample size stuff and I actually want full-size things, you know? And um, I just love getting boxes as you guys can tell in a lot of my videos. I'm just a shopaholic. I just wanted to unbox this with you guys and see how, you know, Oh. Mm -hmm. Let's see how this series go. This series is actually inspired by Kathleen Lights. And no, I did not put the lights up because of Kathleen Lights. Uh, I actually put it up on my wall, but my mom sees that I never use it. So she was like, oh, you should use it for your videos, for your backdrop. So that is what I'm going to be doing from now on. I already did my foundation. I already did my highlight, my eyebrows, and... I put a little bit of setting spray and that's about it. I just took a peek inside the box so I know like what makeup to do. That way you guys aren't like seeing me do the rest of my face not using the products that are in the box. And like I said, um, this is what Kathleen Lights does in her videos. So I thought I would, you know, bite off her. Yeah, that's a compliment, right? Okay, cool. This is... What the box looks like and this is for december 2017. i honestly thought the box would be bigger when i got it i was actually surprised on how small this thing is i don't know why i expected it to be bigger all right so this is what's in my box got a card it says glitz glam enter for a chance to win an exclusive boxy charm box worth over 600 dollars so this is the front of the card and on the back, it shows you what you receive and the original prices. First thing in the box is this crown brush. And I believe this is a foundation brush. Oh, it's a blush brush. Okay, cool. That makes sense. Because I was like, oops, sorry, I did my foundation. And I wasn't about to use this. But the second thing in the box is this. Oh, I'm such a mess. So this deluxe blush brush is originally $12. Pretty soft. And I've heard great things about crown brushes, and I've never owned any crown brushes, so I'm actually like pretty excited to use this. Second thing in my box is this Real Her Be Feeler, Feel Real Her Be Fearless Be Limitless Blush Kit. This is what the packaging looks like. So this Real Her Blush Kit retails for $32. And I'm gonna go in with some swatching, so I'm gonna do Unstoppable, Limitless, and Fearless. Feels pretty chalky on the finger, and there's a little bit of fallout. Ooh, pretty mauve color. Very, very pinky. So this one's a little bit more of a subtle pink with a little bit of shimmer. Not too fond of the bright pink. I just don't really like bright pinks, but I like these two. Um, I don't have anything on my eyes, so I'm actually gonna use this blush kit. I'm going to use Unstoppable for the crease. Okay, so there's a lot of fallout. I don't know if you can see that. So 
so i don't know if you guys can see these like scars on my lids i have them on both lids and i don't know what that's from i have no idea but they're itchy and they're scarring and so um i haven't been wearing too much makeup lately i just kind of want them to heal because it looks so bad like someone please tell me why they're doing that i'm going to take limitless and put this on my lids The color payoff on these are actually pretty good. Like, look at that pigment. I'm going to pick up Fearless and put that in my inner corner. Let me see if it pops up a little bit more if I put some setting spray. I'm also going to add some of Unstoppable to the bottom eyes. Now I'm going to take my crown brush and I think I want to use Fearless. Before I add the blush, I'm actually going to go into some bronzer because I didn't bronze. And that is my next item in the box, which is this Butte Basics Bronze Essentials, which retails for $39.95. Whoa, that is crazy. Uh, I don't know, yeah, I don't know if I would pay $40 for this little tiny thing, but here we go. Take my bronzing brush and it actually has some highlighter in there as well. So that's pretty cool. I'm just gonna like go all up into it. Whoa, that is a lot of fallout. Whoa, do you guys see all that powder? Whoa, that's kind of cool. I've never really seen that before where it like kind of bronzes you and highlights you at the same time. Now it's like shiny all here but not like in the rest of my face you know what i mean i'm just gonna like dust this on the rest of my face just so that it's not shiny just where i'm supposed to contour I'm just gonna go into the middle one and this one as well i'm gonna try to avoid the highlights i'm actually kind of digging this it already looks like i highlighted it like highlighted the top areas of my cheeks but it didn't bronze it like kind of weird uh yeah Oh, and I have a hole in my shirt, okay? Don't judge. I actually like like this because then you could just take this on the go, you know what I mean? And then bronze and highlight all in one. Honestly, don't need to highlight for a second step, but you want to be a little extra. I feel like I say that in like all my videos. If you feel a little extra, you can just add a little highlighter. And I need to contour my nose as well. So to contour, I'm going to take this little brush right here, which is what I always use to contour my nose. I'm going to go into this shade right here. I'm going to spray some setting spray and then highlight some more just because I do like that really glowy look. So I just want to see if this does the job. Okay, I see you. It actually looks really, really nice. I'm liking this palette, yes! Although I would not spend $40 on it, but that's why I signed up with BoxyChan. <laughs> Let's go on to the blush. Really like this brush because you can really target where you want to apply your blush. I'm just applying some to the tops of my cheeks and my apples just to lift them up a little bit. Yeah, it looks really good. I like to dust the remaining on the center of my face and also a little bit on my neck just so everything is pretty even. I'm not really liking my eyes right now just because they're so crackly and dry because the eyelash extensions that I got. If you guys remember when I told you about that. Yeah, never doing that shit again. Oh, you know what? I want to use this... To highlight my inner corners as well because I'm not really liking the pink. Can you take some of this? I'm gonna finish off the eyes with the next item that's in the box, which is this Tarte mascara, which retails for $23. I zoomed up a little bit so you guys can get a better look. The packaging is so cute. I actually don't own anything from Tarte, so this is pretty cool. I actually don't own any of these brands, so this is pretty cool. And I honestly don't spend more than like eight dollars eight nine dollars on mascara because i just buy like revlon or maybelline i just buy um you know the drugstore mascara i feel like it's all the same or maybe i'm wrong but yeah i'm broke so i just stick to the drugstore ones this whole box retails for 163 dollars and i only spent 21 dollars. this is what the wand looks like i do recommend boxy charm over ipsy it's an extra you know 11 bucks but they do send you full-sized items and i think it's cool ipsy bag um they send you really really cute bags every month you know and i've honestly never tried ipsy 
but just from the looks of it i'd rather have full size products um than like sample size ones you know what i mean it's cool to get like cute bags but the bags are really tiny and i don't think i would want like 100 different makeup bags i mean i would but I'd rather have like the full size makeup item. Um, otherwise, I'm just having a bunch of bags and little sample size makeup items. This mascara is like very thick, which is what I like. I like my lashes coated, you know, all the way coated. So I actually really like this mascara. Still not going to pay $23 though. I'm going to use the next item to finish off this look. And it is this pretty vulgar lipstick or lip gloss. It's like pink with some shimmer in it and look at this packaging so cute that i love the roses with the rose gold um trim this retails for 24 dollars that is crazy i would never spend that much on a lip gloss or a lipstick i think the most i've ever spent on lipstick was 18 dollars for the jeffree star one and that was already a lot um yeah i buy all my lipsticks from colourpop because yeah five dollars six dollars to me. Whoa, this has like a metallic. Oh, whoa, do you see that? Oh, oh, it blends easily. Okay, cool. Hmm, this is cool. This reminds me of like Lime Crimes foil, like eyeshadows or oil lipsticks or whatever they're called. It has this like lemony scent to it, too. To complete this look, I'm just gonna curl my lashes. And this completes the look. And that is it for this video that was all the stuff that i got in my box and i actually love everything that i got in this box they have really good color payoff and they're all from brands that i don't own i can't even pick one favorite thing i actually really like this bronze slash highlighter palette i really like this blush brush also and i like this tarte mascara so these are my favorites from this month's box or last month's box, whatever. Also, let me know what you think about this look. Um, I actually really like how it turned out even though I have no lashes on. But this highlight popping, this bronzer popping, this blush on my eye popping, this lip gloss is popping, my eyebrows popping, my foundation, everything popping, okay? Even though I didn't get foundation in this box, my foundation popping, okay? Because I just opened it. It's new and I love it using my new freaking products like this video if you agree let me know what you think about the products also if you got the same things in your box if you got something different this is my first unboxing of my boxy charm box <laughs> if this video inspires you to get boxy charm let me know in the comments because i want to know what you get in your box it's like so exciting every month getting a freaking box to open knowing it's gonna be makeup and it's gonna be good brand stuff i think too at least that's what i think um, yeah, right now I'm just rambling and rambling so I'm just gonna end this video now But I hope you liked it and if you did please give this video a thumbs up And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already stay kicked stay fierce and I'll see you in the next one. Bye